Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading, August 19th to August 25th, 2019. And uh, just bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we're going to jump right into it. So that's good enough. And the first card, which stands for the topic of your Virgo week, this is going to be the Four of Wands, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome. Here we do have a um, <clears throat> Knight of Cups. Afterwards, it's going to be the positive aspect of your week. That is going to be the Magician card. And the last one is the Nine of Cups, which stands for the Guidance. All right, so on the very first glance with, uh, with, this, um, with this reading, it looks like that you are to deviate a path with a person simply because, you know, your path or whatever path you want to follow does not cross any longer or it's not contiguous with theirs, all right? And it is as simple as that. Now, the, the problem here really is going to be that you really like that guy or a girl. And it doesn't have to be a suitor. It doesn't have to be, you know, your girlfriend or your boyfriend while they, it can be. Okay. However, uh, it seems that <clears throat> it's not like you are parting away with a competitor or or with, oh, with a rival or with an enemy, you're parting away with someone that simply, you know, your interests are no longer, uh, are no longer kind of like a uh, similar or they're not the same. And unfortunately, your parts cannot go further together because if they go further together, then neither of you is going to get what one wants. But before we go into that, guys, let's run down the cards one more time. We do have the Four of Wands, which stands for the topic of the week, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges, and that will be the key, the Knight of Cups. Afterwards, is going to be the Magician card, which, which stands for the uh, for the positive aspect, and the last one it is the Guidance here, that will be the Nine of Cups. All right. So, a uh, four of wands. Four of wands represents that you are standing on a verge of completing in a very important cycle, a threshold in your life. And uh, doing so, that will allow you to traverse into the next cycle of life in a sense of like you're completing an important, an important project in your career, all right? And that gives you the prerequisites to be promoted, all right? It's not like a, a brand new beginning, like the full card or the world card is giving you. This is just completing, take it that way, completing one stage of a, a plan that you do have and now the next stage of the plan can be executed now the thing with the four of the four of wands is that you have attended to every single minor detail into the situation and therefore you can very cleanly 
or very or with a very clean fashion move into the next stage of your life next stage of your relationship you know next stage of your career next stage of your friendships and etc etc whatever the, the next stage means for you because this card could represent a, a wedding all right so you are engaged with your fiance and this week is going to be the week where you know probably the wedding is going to be established and etc etc so that is the next stage of uh, of one's endeavor or like i said you know you complete an important project and that finish the stage of you being <clears throat> i don't know a um just the uh, associate and now that makes you a senior partner into uh, into the company that you're working at the accompanied card here is going to be the um, temperance and the formation. It is a active supporters here. So in order for you to complete this stage, however, uh, it will require to attend to a lot of chores. So this week itself as well, it could be a bit uh, annoying, I would say. It's because there will be many things that you will have to, let's say, it's not even struggle with, but they will devour your time. And... Um, <clears throat> With these, with this specific combination, it doesn't look like that you can cut certain corners, but instead, you know, you have to attend to those to those tasks. I would say with their, um, I don't know how to say it in English, with their fullness maybe, or their, uh, or their entire magnitude. All right, instead of slacking and instead of trying to slink your way through, I don't know, it's 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 something like that. Additionally to that, with these two cards, you need to understand as well that everybody goes with their faith and that kind of have a, a lot of implication with the next card that we're going to talk about because not everybody will be able to follow you. Now, the temperance, it's uh, especially to the four of wands, it's the card pointing, uh, it's the combo pointing that everybody have their their own goals everybody have their own opinions as well and it is because these things differentiate from one another it is not a reason one to believe that their goal is absolute or the other people go or opinion is absolute as well because we are chasing different things okay <clears throat> And we do have in mind different things as a substantiality into our lives. So that leads us to the next card here, which is the challenges. And that is going to be the King, the Knight of Cups. And that is the person that will no longer be a part of your journey. All right. Uh, that is uh, someone who you and them have an emotional connection together. And that emotional connection doesn't have to be love. All right. It could be a, a very good uh, friendship it could be a very good partnership into career like a, a co-worker that you always uh, drink your cups or mugs of coffee you know um, <clears throat> every morning and every afternoon as well and you laugh together and you're very good friends all right but as you get promoted you can no longer be friends is because uh, you may become his uh, his or her boss let's say all right or simply that because you're transferred into a different department and simply you know it's it's a stage where your path deviates from one another the accompanied card is going to be the strength the formation it is a, a <clears throat> passive uh, passive enemies and it seems that the, the whole the whole uh, event of the departuring of, of parting ways it will be, I would say, I, I, I don't know, I, I cannot find the right English word, but it's it's going to be dramatic, okay? It's not going to be like, okay, see you, see you around, I guess, you know, but there could be tears, you know, and there could be mornings as well, there could be sorrow, so it's, it, it looks like that you do hold on to each other very, very tightly, and unfortunately, the... Um, the faith kind of like drifts you apart or <clears throat> your future is drifting you apart however when one doors when one door closes another doors is opening so you know even even you may lose a friend right now or even if you may lose a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend that opens your door to have a, a new one most likely better than the current the next one is going to be in regards to the positive aspects of the week for you Virgo and this is going to be the magician card so the magician card refers to your skills and to your potential 
and that cut points that you do have tremendous potential all right you do have the necessary skill and knowledge basically what the card says here and attitude as well and communicational skills obviously you know to uh, achieve the goal that you have set in front of yourself like to become senior partner for example you know or to be happy into relationship and etc etc the magician here points that you can really work your magic throughout the week all right it's kind of like assembling all of the means are necessary for you to move forward with your goal and with your agenda and to, like I said, make the magic happen and achieve your goal eventually. Important thing with the magician here is always, always to have a solid determinations behind your actions. Empty, action, empty actions here are, are going to lead toward a empty rewards. The accompanied card is going to be the lovers. <clears throat> And the formation, it is the active supporters that we do have. So with ease, you will be able to resolve the majority, if not all of your problems, material problems, I mean, and I'm probably as well emotional. Now the problem, the, the, the lovers refer to problems, okay? Also, it looks like that there will be some decisions that you will have to make. However, whatever decision you make, it doesn't look like that you're going to regret about it. That is due to the determination you're going to have behind yourself. So a decision to leave that person behind for a, a favor of a brighter future of yourself. You will not have a hesitation or rather or regret that you have made that decision because as you are good friends or lovers or whatever, you know, you will know that this person wants the best for you and that is the best for you, okay? <clears throat> Additionally to that, whatever people you encounter throughout uh, throughout this week, it seems that you are going to make a very solid impression in front of them, that you are a good negotiator, person who knows what they want, and that will allow you to maintain a really harmonious flow into the communication and the relationship in between you and these people. And the last card for you guys, it is the uh, guidance that Tower is offering to you, and that will be the Nine of Cups. So Nine of Cups is a little bit tricky here. It does point that the fortune itself is going to be behind your back. What I mean is that it's going to support you. Everything you touch, everything you attend to is going to happen with ease, like I said, with the magician. And that will give you the impression that everything is a piece of cake, that you can just do the bare minimum, you know, and still reap the fruits of your labor. And that is rather very um how do you say it um that impression lies that is very felicious impression here <clears throat> whenever you establish a ground okay whatever you ach achieve a certain progress you shouldn't stop there but instead you know you should seek a way to secure it and traverse it from a short-term success or from a short-term happiness into a long-lasting one. The accompanied card is going to be the Ace of Pentacles and the formation is the passive, uh, passive friends here, excuse me. <clears throat> so another testament for your great and vast potential that you are to uncover, <clears throat> uncover excuse me, throughout the week. I'm sorry guys, I'm a, I'm a bit sick and it's, it's gross, but so, um, yeah, this, these cards are testament for your um, tremendous potential that you can uncover throughout the week. And uh, should you start securing on your, uh, on your achievements throughout the week itself, that will allow you to further your goal, whatever the goal is, to, to, to be successful into your career or happy into your relationship, it doesn't matter. But the more you consolidate and the more you secure on your, uh, on your small victories, I would say, the more con content and the more security you're going to wreak in your, uh, in your environment. Not to mention that that will lead you toward a harmoniously flowing relationship, should relationship be the one that you want, or a, a very, very successful business endeavors. If business is everything that you want. So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly tarot reading for a August 19th to August 25th. Uh, 2019. Oh, yeah, but I want to stress it one more time. But in order for you to take uh, advantage of all this potential of yours, someone of your life has to go, right? They, they just have to go. 
it's just what the condition is now feel free not to let go of but then you will not be able to take advantage of this growth in this you know this um this potential because it could be like that guys so you get offered a, a tremendous job the job of your dream but it is in a different state it's you are living in an east coast and the job is on the west coast all right and you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend doesn't matter and they say that they ain't gonna come with you all right uh, because they have job here and if you go there that will be the end of it all right so even though you may love each other and even though you don't have problems in between one another they have to go okay i mean you you have to cut them loose and just go for the job of your dreams to unfold your potential you're gonna find another boyfriend or a girlfriend there that you may fall in love you know and that you can marry one day it's just it's a, it's a tough choice that you will have to make here to let this one go that will unfold a tremendous potential of yours like i said so yeah that was your weekly tarot reading and we're gonna see each other around until then bye